Hello, welcome. Previously, we saw the overview of design. And in our lesson today, we are going to look at introduction to design. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to state the meaning of design and know how and why design is created. First of all, what is design? A design is a plan of an artwork, the keyword, plan, artwork. Before you can execute an artwork or create something to exist, you have to set a structure, that is a plan, on how that artwork will look like. Maybe the length of it, the weight of it, certain things you need to put in place. That is why we say a design is a plan of an artwork. For instance, the aeroplane. Before one can create the aeroplane, he needs to set a structure, how it has to look like, the length of it, the weight of it, the ties, the wings. That is what we call the plan of an artwork. Now, why do we design? There is a reason for everything that is being done. And the reason why we design. First, we design to serve, for the design to serve as a guideline. So it serves as a guide. For man not to go out of context on the artwork to be created, he set the plan and the plan serves him as a guide. So we say that design serves as a guide to the artist. Design also saves time. If one has not set a plan of what he is about to execute, much time is being wasted because one way or the other, he will move out of context, fixing things which are not needed to be in the design. But when there is a plan set, when there is a design, he is able to save much time in the creation of an artwork. Design increase efficiency. If you have not planned to work, you work in vain or your work becomes a vain work. So when you set a plan, you see that you are able to work efficiently. You are able to be productive. And that is how design helps a designer. So that he will be able to be efficient in work, perfection in work. That the work he does is set on a standard and is able to meet his or her goals. Now, how does design help an artist? A design helps an artist to work creatively and intelligently. So when you have your design, Whenever you have your design, because you have set on a structure all you need for your artwork, you come out of your shells of creativity and your intelligence to execute the plan of the artwork. That is why we say that it helps the designer or the artist to work creatively and intelligently. Design also helps the artist to develop confidence 
and competence in imagination and creativity. Confidence and competence. Now, so far as you have your design set, you are confident in what you are doing because you know what you are doing. And you are very competent because you go according to what you have set, the structure you have set. You know where you need to place one item at the other. So that is how design helps an artist. And this brings us to the end of this lesson. In our next lesson, we are going to look at relevant designs in nature and their influence on man-made design. See you in the next lesson.